explain Canva just like in a metric space. This one only distance between x x and to x Canva just to zero as n tends to infinity. Why? Because you know it is a sequence of real number. Yes or no? So this is straightforward by using definition. But this is very very important. This is very very important. Right? Suppose you can take uh, more with respect to usual metric. Right? Suppose you know my sequence is one by n. So my sequence is one by n. So I'm trying to show that distance. I'm trying to show so the text comes to zero. So it's enough to show that it's enough to show that the distance tends to zero. But what is the distance? One by n minus zero. This is nothing but one by n. As you know that as n tends to infinity, distance to zero, right? So therefore, distance between x and comma zero tends to zero. Therefore, x n tends to zero as n tends to infinity with respect to zero. So this is a very very important property. Right. Second is, you know, distance function. You know, distance is nothing but a what? Uh, metric is nothing but a function. Right. It actually, it is jointly continuous function. Means when you take x n comma just to x and y n comma just to y, automatically distance between x n comma x n y n comma just to distance between x comma y as n tends to infinity. This is also straightforward by using triangle in it. You know this is a very famous inequality. You know, distance between x comma y minus distance between a comma b. Already told you this is a very famous inequality in beginning of the class. Using this inequality, one can prove it. So distance between x x n whenever x n comes to x y n comes to y. Therefore, distance between x n comma y n comes to x distance between x comma y. But converse may not be true. Converse may not be. Example: Suppose you can take R with respect to usual. Suppose my sequence is minus one whole power n. My another sequence is straight. Straight. The path. Y n is equal to what? Y n is equal to my n minus one whole power n. You know. What is my distance? Distance between y n comma x n comma y n is nothing but what? You know both sequences are same, right? You know x n minus x n. That means what? Zero. So zero is a constant sequence. Therefore, it converges to zero as n tends to infinity. So distance between x n comma y n tends to zero. But you know x n does not converge. In mean, basic analysis, converge not with respect to usual metric. So converse may not be true, right? But converse is true. When do you, when do you say that converse is true? You know x n converge. These limits are same. This x and y limits are same. So whenever x n converges to x, y n converges to x. If for only distance between x n comma y n converges to distance between x comma x that is zero. As n tends to infinity. This is also straightforward by using triangle inequality. Right. Next. Now another property is. See, this is, we can easily verify that by using triangle in it. But whenever x n comes to x, y n comes to y, the metric d of x n comma y n comes to zero by using definition, right? Next is when you take e is a subset of a metric space, and x is the limit point of a metric space. If x is the limit point of a set, if or not, there exists a sequence. See something which are which I am giving as an exercise. You need to work out. Otherwise, otherwise you need to see it. definitely something will be problem for you. Something which I am giving as an exercise. You need to work on the lines of the proof, right? That will give you the strength and uh, thinking levels, right? So there exists a sequence because if I giving proof, it takes time. So that I am leaving the proof. So there exists a sequence. In e minus x, you know these are the basic Riemannian proofs. You can go through any test book. X n comes to x. So there exists at least one sequence. X n comes to x. X is a limit point of a sequence. Li limit point of the set. If or only we can find a sequence in e minus x such that x n comes to x. This is straightforward. You can take any book. You can go go through it. Right. Fifth one. 
to take any subset of x x is a limit point of x is a x is a point of the closure if and only there exists a subsequence there is a sequence there is a sequence x n in full full set e such that x n comes to this result follows by above digit this result follows by above digit using that right next is so these are the properties very very important properties moreover this property is very very important this property is very very important first property is very very important right so next is bounded so what is my bounded sequence you know actually x comma d is a matrix space right is subset of you can take any set you can take any sequence this is my sequence in x we say that xn is bounded xn is bounded in x if and only what is my definition in general in analysis range of the sequence is bounded is it clear or not yes or no the range of the sequence is bounded in a matrix space this is a definition as a bounded in matrix space non linear space everywhere right so what i mean by bounded in general this is my range set suppose i can assume that this is my set is range set is e when do you say that this is range is nothing but a set it may be finite or infinite so range range is bounded set that means e is bounded when do you say that it is bounded e must be contained in some ball center take comma r is yes or no these are equivalent definitions so r r else you can take this is another definition distance between x n comma x m should be less than r equals to m for all m for all n right for some suitable m positive these are all equivalent conditions x n is bounded if only the range is bounded or else you know range is bounded means for range is after all a set you know when do you say that set is bounded you know it is contained in some suitable open ball so using these two using these two one can conclude that distance between x n comma x m should be less than or equal to m for all for all elements in a sequence for all elements in so distance between any two points of the sequence bounded by some positive constant this also definition one can use other definition so all our definition you can check it you can verify it right suppose you can take a sequence like this you start with start with respect to right right suppose my sequence is 1 by n you know already we told you that if the sequence is always bounded this bounded below by 0 bounded above by 1 right you know the distance between x n comma x m should be less than or equals to 1 and for all right suppose you can take r with respect to discrete 0 you know you take any sequence any sequence you start with any sequence not only uh, in any particular sequence you take any random sequence in r with respect to discrete you know it is always bounded because actually if you take the range is e if you take r is e to be a, the range of a sequence i already told you any subset of a matrix space is bounded therefore e is contained in some suitable open bar some suitable open bar but what is this it is a range of sequence is it clear you know any set is bounded with respect to discrete therefore after all e is a set e should be bounded therefore e must be contained in the ball therefore range is range is also bounded because e is same as saying that range is it clear therefore any sequence that you consider always bounded in in discrete matrix space because range is after all a subset of a discrete matrix space therefore it is bounded is it clear right suppose you can take a uh, x equals to r x equals to not r open zero infinity my set is my matrix is 1 by x minus 1 by 1 you know suppose you can take this you can take n sequence is it bounded with respect to this matrix the answer is in general this is not not bounded in usual you have seen because it's a natural number sequence not bounded in r with respect to usual matrix but the thing is that we are working with respect to delta what is my definition distance between x n comma x m should be 1 by n minus 1 by m by triangle inequality this is less than or equals to 1 by n plus 1 by m but 1 by n is always less than or equals to 1 1 
1 by m also less than or equals to 1 therefore this is true for every m therefore distance between any two points of the sequence should be bounded by 2 therefore it is bounded in general n is not bounded in usual metric space but the thing is when you are working with a different metric but it may be bounded so in it so that you need to be very careful about the metric on which you are working right is it clear yes yes right suppose suppose you can take this you can take this suppose same metric but the thing is same metric del of x comma y is equals to 1 by x minus 1 by y suppose you can take 1 by n is it bounded in this metric anybody is it bounded very fast no, sir, I'm bo unbounded because distance between x comma x m is nothing but what modulus of n minus m because 1 by n is 1 by n of 1 by m if it is bounded so we can find some constant this is true for every n belongs to n right but it's absolutely conduction because because this is true for every n in particular i can take m equals to one this is true for n belongs to m so by another version of triangle inequality this is always less than or equals to m plus one therefore what does it mean by this this is nothing but n is bounded natural numbers is bounded so conduction therefore one by n in general is bounded in with respect to usual matrix space but it may not be bounded with respect to another matrix on the same sets is it clear so therefore to check whether it is bounded or not what is a main what is a what is a very important role what 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 thing plays very very important role metric plays very very important role so that one can conclude that met, boundedness property is not a topological property is a metric property understand because it depends upon the this delta it depends upon the metric it does not depend upon the open sets yes or no so therefore you need to be very careful about the metric what you are taking to check whether it, the sequence is bounded or not is it clear Yes. yes sir so next relation between the convergent sequence and bounded you know already you know in basic analysis every convergent sequence is bounded of course of course this is true for this is true for metric space also this is true for metric space also right this is the first property every convergent sequence convergent sequence is always bounded but converse may not be true we have seen lot of example in basic analysis Converse may not be true. May not be true. Right? Is it clear? You start with any one minus one whole power n in R with respect to usual metric. It is bounded, but it it is not convergent. It is not convergent. So seen in basic analysis course. Right? Next is what is the next thing? Next thing is subsequence. What do you mean by sequence? Subsequence. You start with any sequence, which is any sequence, any metric space. What do you mean by subsequence? This is my sequence, original sequence. So what you do is that you need to take the, say, increasing order of the suffixes, right? So that means if there exists a sequence of natural numbers, right? Natural numbers which are in increasing order. Automatically, one can say that x and k is a subsequence. So you should be very careful. Don't suppose you take one. You suppose you pick x one, you pick x two. So don't pick again x one. So it should be an increasing order. So fixes should be in increasing order. So this is my subsequence as in studied in basic analysis course. Right? Suppose you can take R with respect to visual. Right? Suppose you take minus one whole power n. So what are my subsequence? See, this is my sequence. Minus one one, minus one one, minus one one. Right. So what are my subsequence? You can take minus one minus one, minus one minus one. It is it is also subsequence. Right. Suppose you you can take a two n plus one. This is two n plus one, two n minus one. What is two n? One 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 one. Of course, a sequence itself is a subsequence. You know, every sequence is itself is a subsequence because it is itself is a Order itself is an increasing order. One, two, three, four going on. Every sequence. This is a one, a two, a three, a four, a five. You know these suffixes are in the increasing order. Therefore, always itself is a. So what do you conclude? Every sequence itself is a sequence. Is it clear? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes. Right. And uh, there is a relation between subsequence and and the sequence. You know actually. the sequence 
is sequence in a matrix space suppose xn is a sequence in a matrix space x so xn converges to x if and only every subsequence that you take every subsequence of xn converges to converges to where x is it clear is it clear so this is straight forward you know you see xn converges to x means what every neighborhood that you take in front you know it contains all terms of the sequence so automatically after all subsequence is a part of xn there for it contains all terms of the sequence and so every subsequence of xn converges to same x what is the converse every subsequence of xn converges to x means after all xn is a subsequence of that original sequence because every sequence is itself is a subsequence therefore xn converges to x so this is straight forward but the thing is if you lost this one suppose xn suppose xn converges to x right does it mean that does it mean that if and only if every subsequence of xn converges every subsequence every subsequence of xn converges is it true is it true every subsequence of xn converges does it true so this way is true right this way is true if you take any sequence that you take actually automatically every subsequence converges but if every subsequence of xn converges that doesn't mean that uh, original sequence converges yes or no is it clear right so that means every sequence can subsequence converges means you know actually this, this they may be, have different limits understand they may have different limit right so every sequence that you take actually you know in basic reals is four actually these are these are the complementary sequences what is my a a2 n a2 n is nothing but what 1 1 1 1 1, 1. so one is a constant sequence converges to one so what is my a2 n minus one this is nothing but again complementary sequence which is converges to minus one does there any any subsequence which converges to some point no because these are the two complementary sequence therefore first complementary sequence converges to one second complementary sequence converges to minus one therefore therefore none of other three subsequence converges to different point so these are the only subsequence which are convergent is yes it no is it clear inka ivi gaakonda vere subsequence untayandi convergent ayyadi undu because these are the two complementary sequence automatically it converges to one is yes it no ante proper sequence gaakonda is yes it no this also itself also subsequence so therefore therefore this sequence does not converge because minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 this does not converge so converse may not hold because every subsequence converges to converges but the limits are different therefore converse may not be true every subsequence is convergent okay but the original sequence may not convergent is it clear so original sequence is convergent if and only if the limit must be same that is important understand is it, is it clear so every subsequence convergent if and only if the original sequence convergent if and only if that every subsequence converges to the same limit same limit that is important every the sequence converges to x if and only if every subsequence converges to the same same limit if that happens original sequence converges is it clear right so next is suppose you can take this example if you take uh, a a to n right suppose you can take a to n is a subsequence which converges to a a to n minus 1 is converges to b right suppose a 3n converges to c does it mean that the original sequence convergent is it clear no. No, no, yes if a 2n converges to a a to n minus 1 converges to b a 3n is after all a subsequence of a given sequence this is a n minus sequence so does it mean that n converges the answer you need to check it so you know a 6 6n is a subsequence of a a, a to n yes or no a 6n is a subsequence of a to n yes or no therefore a to n converges to a therefore every subsequence converges to a therefore a 6n converges to a is it clear because as you know that a to n converges to a therefore x n converges to a 
Is it clear? Similarly, A3, A6N is a subsequence of A3N also. As you know that A3N converts to C, whenever A sequence converts to C, every subsequence converts to same thing. Therefore, A6N converts to C. Is it clear? So this is a sequence which converts to A. This also sequence which converts to C. You know, in a metric space, every convergent sequence has a unique limit. Therefore, A equals to C. Yes or no? Therefore, A equals to C. Similarly, you know, A3, 2N minus 1 is a subsequence of A2, N minus 1. Right? As you know, the A2N minus 1 converges to B. Therefore, A3N minus 1 converges to, converges to B. Because A2N minus 1 converges to B. Similarly, A3N minus 1 is a subsequence of A3N. Therefore, A3 into 2N minus 1 converges to C. So, these are both are sequence which converges to B. Therefore, this both sequence are equal, which converts to B and C. Therefore, by uniqueness of the limit, B equals to C. That means what? A equals to B equals to C. That means what? In particular, A equals to B. A equals to B equals to C means what? A equals to B. So, complementary sequence converts to the same point. What do you observe? What do you observe? A2N converges to A. Similarly, A2N minus 1 also converts to A. Therefore, complement sequence converts to the same point. Therefore, the sequence converges to A. Is it clear? Is it clear, Andy? So this is important idea. This idea is important. A to N converts to A. A to N minus converts to C. Sorry, you're together. Complementary sequence together. A, A, B, different together. You could condition good in the A three N converts to C and on the. So you need to check whether the complementary sequence converges to the same limit or not. You need to, you need to be very careful. So in order to say that a sequence convergent, you need to be very be careful about the complementary sequences. If the complementary subsequences are are convergence to the same same limit, there one can one can easily conclude that the original sequence converges. If all possible con complementary sequence converge converge to the same limit, we can conclude that the original sequence converges. Is it clear? Sir, in case only two subsequences, only two proper subsequences there. For, for example, minus one to the power of n. Yes, sir. Complementary subsequence and see actually definition in dante. It could actually end minus one, one, minus one, one, minus one, one. If you put a two n minus one, this could actually almost one minus one of some. This convergent, okay. It could be in with only a two n and demos in the one of the constant sequence which converts to one a. But these limits are does not equal, right? So limits does not equal means the original sequence does not convergent. Limit sequel I think and to none. Complement converges complementary sequence converts to the same limit, then one can say that original sequence convergent and to none. At loan ten need not be they got the example. Minus one whole power n in the A two n minus one converts to minus one, A two n converts to one, but but you know that one minus one not equals to one, therefore the original sequence does not convergent by using this property. Which property? This property. Fundamental, fundamental property. Is there any so, any example, sir, about, uh, about uh, A3n, A2n, A2n minus 1? Suppose, yeah, very standard examples are there. In the theory. I think you have done the course also. Yeah, yeah. Suppose you can take R with respect to this mod of minus usual metric. Fundamental examples are, yeah, an is equal to Suppose sign n pi by 3. No? You know? So what is A3n? Anybody? Zero sequence. Zero. It's a constant sequence comes to zero. What is A3n plus 1? Three n plus 1 by 3 into pi by 3. That means sign n pi plus pi by 3. You know, it is nothing but plus or minus sine pi by 3. That is nothing but plus or minus 4. So that means, you know, this is a plus or minus two three by two. That means it's it's a constant sequence. It is also converges to plus or minus two three by two. Similarly, a three n plus two. What is this? What is this? So three n plus two by three into pi by three. That is nothing but sine n pi plus two n pi by three two pi by three. That is nothing but sine of you know two plus or minus two pi by three. You know this is nothing but sine. Pi minus pi by three. That is nothing but 
plus or minus sin phi by 3. That is nothing but sin phi by 3 is nothing but plus or minus 2 3. Similarly, a, a3 n plus 3, that is nothing but again 0. So these are the complementary sequences. Remember, these are the complementary sequences. A3 n, A3 n plus 1, A3 n plus 2. These are the complementary subsequences of A n. You know, A n, uh, A3 n converts to 0. A3 n plus 1 converts to different limit, root 3 plus 2, root 3 by 2. Is it clear? So therefore, this original sequence does not converge to any point. Is it clear? Is it clear? So A3n, A3n plus 1 converge to, converge okay, but converges to different, different uh, limits. So therefore, original sequence does not, does not converge. Yes or no? Income you can go doubt at all. Sir, only A3n, A3n plus 1, A3n plus 2, A3n plus 3, A1 to the. Where a sequence, you can subsequence converge to the other side. But when you check the other side, because these are the only complementary subsequence. Where a window? Where a window? Where a unna, mala dintlo na repeat aitha. A three n repeat aitha, lepo the A three n plus one repeat aitha, lepo the A three n plus two aitha. Sir, inge where a raoiga. That means this we call it as in reality. These are the subsequential limits. Of original sequence. So what are my subsequential limits? Zero plus or minus three by two. So what is mean by limit superior root three by two? What is mean by limit inferior? Minus root three by two. Is it clear? You have very checked also only then because subsequence if complementary sequence are enough to check this to find the subsequential limits. You may only think even a subsequence under the subsequent conversion data and also only the checked also only. Is it clear? Sir, please explain previous problems. Sir, A to N. Yeah, A to N. This one. Ah, this one. Sir. Yeah. Manaku basic fundamental result you and first what is the basic fundamental result? In the moon in your panel. X and converges to X if and only if every subsequence of X and converges to X or else every complementary raspond the raspond every complementary subsequence of X and converges to X. This is very weak than this. This is very weak than this. Converges to same X. Every complementary subsequence of X and converges to X. What I'm trying to do is general A and complementary subsequence. You could already A to N, A to N minus one. You could have limits, same same and prove it to Jalga. A goes to B and prove it to These are two complementary subsequence. Therefore, which converge to same point. Therefore, A and converge. Is it clear? Complementary subsequence is if you go, but automatically A goes to B and prove it. Therefore, every complementary subsequence of a given sequence converges to the same limit. Therefore, the original sequence converge. Is it clear? So, you could have observed this. A, 3n only. 6n, A6n is always a subsequence of A2n. Therefore, A2, A6n converges to A. Because original sequence converges to A, no? A2n is always, A6n is always a subsequence of A2n. Yes or no? Because these are six multiples. These are the two multiples. Therefore, A6n is a subsequence of A2n. Therefore, A6n converges to A. Similarly, A6n is a subsequence of A3n. You know, A3n converges to C. Therefore, every subsequence comes to the same limit. Therefore, A6n converges to C. By uniqueness of limits, A6n converges to 6. Uh, A and A6n converges to C. Therefore, by uniqueness of limits, A equals to C. Similarly, A3 and A3 into 2n minus 1 is a subsequence of A2n minus 1. Therefore, as you know that A2n minus 1 converges to B. Therefore, A and every subsequence must converge to the same limit B. Therefore, A into 3, 2n minus 1 converges to B. Similarly, a3 to a3 into 2n minus 1 is a subsequence of a3n. Therefore, as you know that a3n converges to c, therefore a into 3n minus n converges to c. So these are both are same sequence, therefore b equals to c. So therefore a equals to b, b equals to c. That means what a equals to b. A equals to b means what? Complementary sequence has the same limit. Therefore, therefore, your sequence is convergent. Is it clear? Hello. Okay. okay, sir. Okay, sir. Suppose complement. Yeah. Okay, man. Only actually examples. Suppose you don't know. R with respect to visual. For example, n through top sub. For example, Mr. Man, I don't know this one. Minus one whole power two n. Only. This is my sequence. This is my sequence. 
what is my complement of subsequent say 2n this is nothing but what 2 power minus 1 whole power 2n plus 2 whole power 1 by 2n that means what is this what is this 2 plus 2 whole power 1 by 2n what is this 4 power 1 by 2n as n tends to infinity this goes to 1 because 4 power 0 this is 1 similarly 2n plus 1 what is this a power minus 1 plus 2 whole power 1 by 2n plus 1. that is nothing but 5 by 2 whole power 1 by 2n plus 1 this is true for every n therefore this conveys to 1 therefore both complementary subsequences has the same limit therefore original sequence converges to 1 is it clear you may wear a check yes i know that's that's what actually think of the complementary subsequences is it clear yes sir yes next is next argument limit point of a sequence of course all the concepts we have done okay we have seen limit point of a set earlier we have seen that limit point of a set so what is this this limit point of a sequence so this is related to subsequential limits you know so therefore let us start with the metric space let me take metric space and let me take actually a sequence which is in a metric space and we say that a point which is x x belongs a belongs to x is a limit point of x n sequence x n if or only every neighborhood of x every neighborhood of x contains infinitely many points infinitely many of the sequence many terms or many points in this so that's what actually definition every neighborhood of uh, that point contains in order to say that a is a limit point you take any neighborhood contains infinitely many points of the sequence if that happens that is a limit point yes or no so example you take you start with respect to visual metric you know suppose you can take this say to a n is equals to minus one whole power n therefore so this is my minus one one so let us start with any neighborhood. What is my neighborhood? Open bounded interval. One minus epsilon, one plus epsilon. So sorry, minus one minus epsilon, minus one plus epsilon. You know this neighborhood contains infinitely infinite is minus one one minus one minus one. Therefore, this sequence can this thing this this neighborhood contains infinitely r terms. So this neighborhood contains infinitely many r terms. All the terms which are in the neighborhood of minus one epsilon neighborhood of minus one. Therefore every neighborhood that every neighborhood that you take atoms a1 is there a3 is there a5 is there a6 a7 is there a9 is there therefore it contains all infinitely many points of the sequence this neighborhood therefore it's a limit point of a sequence right similarly you take any neighborhood around this you take any neighborhood around this right you know it contains infinitely many even terms this neighborhood contains infinitely many even terms therefore one also limit point of the sequence is it clear is it clear? Does it have any another limit? Anybody? Does it have any another limit? Anybody? Yes. Does it have any another limit? Is it going to vary? Unta unta yanga. Unda o ipade jatta nigada. Complementary subsequences. Okay. There is a result actually. There is a very famous result. Of course, we can use this by you know. You know, inko rakanga da chepo shwe. You start with any point, other point. This is definition using definition. Let us start with any point which is other than one to one minus one. So, what I do is you know, you take a, see this t, suppose t is there, you take minimum distance from here to here, right? This is always less than or equal to t minus one, therefore, t minus one always less than or equal to t minus. S to n, a to n. This is true for every n, right? Similarly, this minimum of this t minus one plus t plus one should be less than or equal to t plus one. This is always less than or equal to t minus, you know, a to n minus one. That means what you observe, any this minimum, minimum t minus one t plus one is a lower bound of my sequence when t minus a n for every n because for every odd this is true for every, 
n suffix if you, if any c odd this is true if n is even that is true therefore it is a lower bound for this but you know that this is always positive because actually t not equals to 1 t not equals to minus 1 therefore this is positive this is positive minimum is always positive therefore you can take this as to be epsilon therefore distance between t to a n should be positive therefore a n never converges to t because my epsilon is, is, is this you can take this as to be epsilon therefore distance between t to a n should be bigger than epsilon therefore a n should not converge to t is it clear therefore there is no other sequence which converges to t which is different from which is different from minus 1 plus 1 is it clear so therefore there is no other subsequence there is no other subsequence or something else which converges to different limit is it clear this is a way to way, way of uh, definition using definition is it clear hello yes sir is it, yeah. is it clear suppose you can take start with the usual method ఒక్కటే అండి మేము ఇట్లా ఎక్సర్సైజ్ అని రాసినాం అనుకోండి ఎవరైనా కానీ మ్యాథమెటిక్ ఎవరైనా ఎక్సర్సైజ్ అని రాసారు అనుకోండి ఫస్ట్ ఫిల్ చేయండి సార్ స్టేట్మెంట్ రాసి వదిలిపెట్టాడు కదా ఇది ఎన్ని ఎగ్జామ్లు వస్తో రాదు అని అనుకోండి మీరు చదివారు అనుకోండి మీకు ఇక థింకింగ్ లెవెల్స్ ఇంప్రూవ్ కావాలి సో ఫస్ట్ యూనిట్ టు ఫిల్ ద గ్యాప్స్ గ్యాప్స్ ఫిల్ చేస్తే మీకు సబ్జెక్ట్ వస్తుంది ఆటోమేటిక్ అండ్ రెండు వస్తుంది సపోజ్ యూ స్టార్ట్ విత్ ఎనీ మైనస్ అండ్ హోల్ పవర్ అండ్ ఇదే 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 తీసుకోండి యాక్చువల్గా సో ఇజ్ ఇట్ ఎ లిమిట్ పాయింట్ యాక్చువల్లీ డస్ ఇట్ హ్యావ్ ఎ లిమిట్ పాయింట్స్ మైనస్ వన్ హోల్ పవర్ అండ్ does it does the sequence has a limit points does it have a limit points limit yes points? sir yes because you take any neighborhood see suppose my ball center at minus 1 comma r minus 1 comma r you know this is nothing but what minus 1 if r is less than or equal to this is full x if r is bigger than so in any case this neighborhood contains infinitely many odd terms in this case this contains infinitely many odd terms of course even terms also and therefore this is a limit point this is my what is my neighborhood either single ten minus 1 or x in whenever it is single ten minus 1 it, the single ten minus 1 it contains odd terms whenever it's full x it contains odd terms as well as even terms therefore in both cases every neighborhood of x minus 1 contains infinitely many points of minus 1 hence it is a limit point general ga discrete limit annadu kada discrete matrix space annadu kada deeniki limit undadu kada limit point undadu kada ani pettar ankonde wrong this is always limit point untadi gurtu pettukondi set ti iskuntu undadu any subset that you take in a discrete matrix space set this kunte limit points undavu ka ani sequence this kunte matram we need to be very careful adana is it clear sequence this kunte matram we need to be very careful is it clear set is set has no limit points but if you take this minus 1 whole power n automatically as a limit point is it clear okay sir okay so therefore next is limit point and range of a sequence suppose so uh, relation between range of a sequence suppose e is my range of a sequence you, t- you take xn is a sequence xn is a sequence in a matrix space x e is a range of a sequence you take this notation so generally we can have two two possibilities range may be finite range may be infinite right we can know in basic range this course right so if the range is finite suppose your sequence converges to x means automatically it must be virtually constant sequence this is straight forward by definition virtually constant virtually equals to 1 virtually equals to 1 that means after the some stage this way is very true because every virtually constant sequence equals to x always converges every virtually constant sequence every each virtually constant sequence x x x x x x automatically convergent so x n converges to x means what if the range is finite automatically x n must be virtually constant sequence so if the range is finite whenever x n converges to x x n must be virtually constant sequence if if range is infinite if a sequence which converges to x automatically this x is a limit point of the range of a sequence what is my e? range of a sequence this is also straight forward but you need to feel it so whenever xn converges to x x must be a limit point of the sequence range of a sequence so limit xn x is what actually x is a limit of a sequence x is a limit point of a range of a sequence is it clear because every neighbor see xn converges to x means what every neighbor of x contains all terms of the sequence except to finitely many so automatically these all terms are the range terms therefore every neighborhood of x contains infinitely many points of the set e therefore 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 x is a limit point of the range of a sequence 
Is it the converse true? Is that the converse true? No, right? Suppose, suppose you can take this R with respect to usual metric, right? Suppose my my sequence is, what is my sequence? Suppose you can take this one by two, three, one by four, five, one by six, seven, one by eight, nine, going on, going on. Yes or no? Right? You know the sequence. You know actually what the sequence is unbounded sequence because it's your R terms diverges to plus infinity. Yes or no? R terms one, three, five, seven. So once the subsequence diverges to infinity. You know, R terms diverges to plus infinity. Therefore, it is unbounded. S n is unbounded. Yes or no? Once it is unbounded, automatically not convergent because every convergent sequence must be, every convergent sequence must be bounded. So therefore, so R R terms converge. R term diverges to plus infinity. Therefore, it is unbounded. Therefore, it is it is not convergent. But the thing is, look at the even terms. S two n, even terms. One by two n, one by four n, one by six n. You know, one by two n, one by six n. One by eight, one by one by ten, going on, going on zero. Therefore, this tends to zero as n tends to infinity. Therefore, zero is a limit point of a limit point of a sequence. In fact, limit point of the range of a sequence because what is my range here? My range is full. What is my range of a sequence? Total set one distinct set of all distinct terms. Is that no? Is it clear? What is my range here? This is my range. So therefore, zero is a limit point of the sequence because zero this S n two n converges to zero. Therefore, zero is a limit point of the range of a sequence, whereas X n is not convergent. Whereas X n is not convergent. Therefore, whenever the range is infinite, whenever the range is infinite, if the sequence converges to X, but then then X must be a range of a X must be a limit point of a range of a sequence. That converse may not be true. Yeah, I'm getting the some sound. Okay, hello. So there is an important result between the limit point of a sequence and uh, you know in basic Riemann space any trans. So this result in true in metric space. Also, if you take x is a metric space, we take x n is a sequence in x. You know x is a limit point. You know limit point of a sequence. If you know, there exists at least one subsequent. There exists a subsequent. Of x n converging to converging to x converging to x. Is it clear? See, this is in this case we say that actually x is a subsequential. So we have done this idea. Okay. So x is a limit point of a sequence if and only if there exists a subsequence which converges to x. X is a limit point of a sequence if and only if there exists a subsequence which converges to X. We have solved examples previously, right? Next is next point is limit point of a sequence may not belongs to the given set, given sequence. May not belongs to the given sequence, right? Suppose we take one by n in with respect to usual metric, you know zero is the only limit point. Zero is the only limit point because the complementary sequence a to n converges to zero. A to n minus one also converges to zero because every subsequence converges to zero. A to n minus one converges to zero. A to n converges to zero. Therefore, zero is the only limit point because if there exists a sequence which converges to x, x is the only limit point. So zero is the limit point of the sequence, but zero does not belongs to the sequence one by n. Right, so limit point of a sequence may not may not belongs to the given sequence. And next is limit point of a range of a sequence. Limit point of a range of a sequence. Limit point of a range of a sequence 
is a limit point of a sequence right limit point of a range of a sequence always limit point of a sequence yes or no because you start with any limit point you take any limit point of a range of a sequence you take any neighborhood any neighborhood around around uh, epsilon therefore it contains infinitely many points of the range terms yes or no because limit it is a limit point of the range of a sequence yes or no therefore it contains infinitely many range terms the range terms means nothing but xns therefore any ball around x which contains infinitely many points of the range terms therefore that means what it a ball contains infinitely many terms infinitely many terms yes or no because ball contains xns infinitely many xns because ball contains range terms range terms are precisely xns therefore every ball contains xns therefore every ball contains infinitely many terms so therefore xn is a limit this x is a limit point of the sequence because every ball contains infinitely many terms therefore by definition x is a limit point of a xn what about the converse need not be can you get at least one example you know r with respect to usual metric can you provide it at least one example minus 1 whole power n right you know minus 1 is a limit point limit point of a sequence right but what is the range of the sequence what is the range of the sequence range of the sequence is minus 1 1 is it it is a finite set it is a finite set yes or no finite set in r already we have seen that every finite set is has no limit points every finite set has no limit points in r therefore range has no limit points therefore e has no limit Is it clear? X here minus one is a limit point of a sequence. Okay, minus one is a limit point of a sequence. Okay, but minus one is not a limit point of the range of a sequence because my range of the range of a sequence is a finite set. You know, every finite set has no limit points in a metric space. Is it clear? Okay. Okay. Next. Okay. Hello. Any doubt? so give me an example which has only one limit point give me a sequence give me a sequence which has only one limit point which has sequence. only only one limit point can you give me at least one example any so convergent sequence r with respect to usual metric suppose you can take 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 6 1 7 you know you know one is repeating infinitely many terms it is a subsequence which converges to one therefore one is the only limit point of the the sequence give me two give me a sequence which has two limit points you know 1 2 you know it has only two two limit points yes or no what are the limit points 1 2 give me sequence which has finite limit points 1 2 3 n n plus 1 n plus 1 1 2 3 n n plus 2 1 2 3 4 n n plus 2 right that means this n are limit points so it has only finite limit limit points because it has this point is repeating infinite limit term points therefore this is a subsequence 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 converges to 1 therefore subsequence converges to 1 similarly two subsequence also 2 2 2 2 2 converges to 2 therefore subsequent comes to 2 means for 2 is a limit point of the sequence right so it has only so give me a sequence which has countably infinitely many countable infinite uh, limit points yes we can give it you know so this is n right 1 2 3 4 up to n n plus 1 1 2 3 4 5 n n plus 1 n plus 2 right therefore each point is repeating infinitely many times therefore countably many countably many limit points now give me a sequence which has uncountably limit points anybody give me a sequence which has uncountably many limit points anybody you know this is my sequence 0 1 by 1 1 by 2 2 by 2 you know 1 by 3 2 by 3 you know rational sequence 1 by 3 2 by 3 you know countable argument 3 by 3 One by four, two by four, three by four, four by four. You know, five. One by five, 
2 by 5, 3 by 5, 4 by 5, 5 by 5, like this. You know, these are all rational terms. You know, what is the range of a sequence? Anybody? What is the range of a sequence? Rational terms lying between 0 to 1. Yes or no? Is it clear? Yes. yes. Therefore, you know, what are my limit points of this Q intersection with close 0, 1? What are my limit points? What is my derived set of range of a sequence? You know, this point is a limit point because every neighbor would take it contains infinitely many rational numbers. Therefore, zero is a limit point. Is it a limit point of the this set? Yes. Is it a limit point of this set? Yes. Therefore, what are my limit points? Close zero one. So already I told you every limit point of a range of a sequence is a limit point of a sequence. Therefore, zero comma one is a derived set of range of a sequence. Yes or no? So each point is a limit point of a range of a sequence. Therefore, each point is a limit point of a sequence. Yes or no? It's a limit point of limit point of sequence. Therefore, each point is a limit point of a sequence. How many points are there? Uncountable. It's a closed interval, uncountable. Is it clear? Hello? Is it clear? Because each point is a limit point of a range of a sequence. Therefore, each point is a, so, you know, every limit point of a range of a sequence, last property, last property, every limit point of a range of a sequence is a limit point of a sequence. So therefore, automatically it is a limit point of a sequence. Is it clear? Hello? Doubt on the, hello? Okay. Next, equal. What is the relation between equivalent matrix and uh, limit point of a sequence? Suppose this is a relation between that. You know, suppose X is a matrix space. D1, D2 are matrix equivalent matrix. The record way no is better than the equivalent matrix. You know, X is a limit point of a sequence with respect to D1. Equal X is a limit point of a sequence, same sequence in D2, right? So this is straightforward because every ball contains another open ball. Every another open ball contains other open ball, vice versa. Is this straightforward definition by using equivalent, right? So using this, you know, R with respect to usual metric. Suppose you can have uh, delta is equals to mod of x minus y by one plus mod of x minus y. Question is that one by, suppose you can take n, n means what one, two, three, four going on. Question is that, does it have a limit point in this matrix space? Question is, does it have limit points in R with respect to delta? Anybody? The answer no, by using this, by using this. So delta lo check jail and dean lo check yes is because both are equivalent. Limit points is checked easy because it's a basic reassess course. It's a basic metric, right? Usual metric, Euclid metric, right? So you know, real line low, one, two, three, four, five. Limit points on the No. No. So sequence limit points on you take any neighborhood, does not contain any, it does not contain infinitely many points. Therefore, one is not limit point of a sequence. Therefore, it has no limit points in our usual metric. Right? Therefore, it is not, it has no limit points with respect to this metric. Is it clear? Hello. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Sir. Next product metric. This is another one of it. Product metric. Product space. Suppose X comma D1 is a metric space. Y comma D2 is another metric space. You know, actually X cross Y delta is a product metric space. You know, delta is nothing but what? Delta is nothing but maximum of D1 X1 Y1 D2 X2 Y2. That means x is equals to x1, x2, y equals to y1, y2, right? It's a product matrix space. So you take any sequence y and x and converts to x comma x in a product matrix space. We have seen in first in in first classes, first two classes. So x and converts to x. If or no if in a product matrix space, if or no if each component converts to corresponding component. This is a component with component. This is in x comma d1. 
This is x comma y comma d two. Is it clear? Is it clear? Suppose you have suppose you have R two with respect to d two. Suppose my sequence is suppose one by n, one by n, minus one by n plus one by n. This is my sequence, not interval. Remember, this is a sequence. Minus one by n, one by n. You know, one by n converges to zero. See, R, what is mean by R square? R square is nothing but R cross R. In R, it is it is a usual metric. Suppose you have not given a metric means it is a usual metric. This is also usual metric, right? So in one by n converges to zero in usual metric. This one by n converges to zero. Therefore, by using this relation. One by n comma one by n converges to zero zero with respect to product matrices because product matrix space is same as saying that Euclidean matrix. We'll see in topology, right? So this is the argument with respect to product matrix space. So that means is the sequence which converges to x comma y in product matrix space. That sequence, the, the component of the sequence converges to the component. That means component wise convergence, right? Next is Cauchy. Cauchy sequence. This is a very very important concept because last year 2000 jail paper student last paper student I think 17th question or 15th question concept sequence complete matrix space so x is a matrix space we say that x n is a concept sequence in x if and only if so for each epsilon you know the the terms are after some stage. The terms are very close to each other. The terms are very close to each other. some stage, right? That means is equivalent notation by using straightforward distance between x n comma x converges to zero as n comma n tends to infinity. Distance between x comma x n tends to zero for large values of n comma m. Right? Suppose you can take an example. X equals to R in usual metric. Right. Right. Question is: Suppose x n is equal to right uh, basic metric, basic one by n. Question is: Is it Cauchy? The answer is yes, because x n comma x m is nothing but what x n by definition is x n minus x m. But what is x n? One by n minus one by m is less than or equal to one by n plus one by n by triangle inequality by Sandwich theorem. This tends to zero. This tends to zero. Therefore, middle term tends to zero. It's, therefore, it is a Cauchy sequence. Is it clear? Is it clear? Right. Suppose you can take R with respect to discrete. Right. Question is x n is equal to one by n for understanding purpose. Is it Cauchy? Is it Cauchy? No. Why? Because I can take epsilon equal to one by two. You know what is this? You know suppose it is Cauchy. We find a stage. What happens? Distance between x n comma x n should be less than one by two. For every income, I am bigger than the stage, right? But what is this? You know, it's nothing but what actually we can take. This is true for every income, I am. Therefore, we can take x two h. Suppose we can take x two h plus one, less than one by two. But these are two distinct, different terms because x two h is nothing but what one by two h. X two h plus one is nothing but what one by two h plus one according to my sequence. This is my sequence. So these two are distinct terms. The distance is one. So one less than one by two conduction. Therefore, it is not constant. So we are getting problem because so this is very very important problem in the mundo chena jail location ide. So distance between x comma y, you take any discrete matrix space. X is any random space, right? So a sequence which is Cauchy very very important. A Cauchy in a discrete matrix space, if only if it must be eventually constant. Using the same proof, eventually. Constant, is it clear? So here we have seen one by n is not eventually constant. Therefore, it is not Cauchy. Is it clear? Is it clear? Suppose x comma y is equal to. Me give me a question. Jail or Giriamma? Four, four, four zero. This question is there. I think fifteenth or fourteenth question is due today. So x any matrix space. Is it complete? Aga da na do. So of course, Cauchy aga da check chain. Suppose one by n is x any chain. Suppose you need a sequence chain. One by n chain. Is it Cauchy? Is it no? Because it's not eventually constant. This question is there. Children, so one by three, one by four, 
it's not eventually constant therefore it is not cauchy by the same proof which i have already done by the proof same proof is it clear so when you when you have dx comma y is equal to some positive number already told you this is a metric therefore when you give when you are given a metric like this when you are given a sequence if it is in order to say that that is a cauchy first you need to check whether it is eventually constant or not if it is eventually constant automatically cauchy sequence not only cauchy it is always convergent because you know that every eventually constant sequence is always convergent with respect to any metric so it is not eventually constant sequence therefore it is not cauchy is it clear is it clear and is it hello is it clear yes sir yes suppose my fifth example suppose you start with x is equals to r with respect to del of x comma y yeah open zero comma infinity 1 by x minus 1 by y right suppose my sequence is this so so is it is it is it cauchy so you need to be very careful general ga enna annadu kada enna ante actually unbounded kada therefore it is not cauchy anukuntaru kan kaadu with respect to delta so delta of n comma x comma n x n comma x m delta of xn comma xn is nothing but n comma m that is nothing but 1 by n minus 1 by m this is always less than or equal to 1 by n plus 1 by m this is all you know that by this is tends to zero for n, as n comma n tends to infinity therefore by sandwich theorem this tends to zero by middle piece tends to zero so it's cauchy is it clear is it clear suppose 1 by n is it cauchy in this is it no. cauchy no yes or no 1 by n 1 by m what is this n minus m does it tends to zero for large values of n comma n no right this is always bigger than equals to 2n minus n right this is nothing but n yes or no therefore you know this diverges to plus infinity therefore this also diverges to plus infinity right therefore it is not cauchy is it clear is it is it cauchy 1 by n no right suppose you are going to give an example x is equals to r With respect to delta of x is equal to x by one plus mod x, you know that we have seen this is an metric. Question is, is it n? Is it a cauchy? Look at the distance n comma m. N by one plus mod n minus one n by m by one plus mod m. This is nothing but by triangle inequality n plus one by n, m plus one by m. You know, this minus. Sorry, this minus don't apply triangle in it. Therefore, what is this? This is nothing but n by one plus n, m by one plus n. This, you know, every mod is continuous function. Every mod is continuous function. Therefore, this tends to n by one plus n tends to one. One minus one, this is zero. Therefore, distance between x n x x n comma x m tends to zero as n comma m tends to zero. Therefore, it's a cauchy sequence. Is it clear? Is it clear? So how okay. funny it is! It's a very simple idea. Distance between x. You need to find distance between x and n comma x m. Whether it converges to zero for large values of n comma m. If that happens, it is a cauchy. Otherwise, it is not cauchy. Is it clear? Okay. Right. So this is an exercise. You need to work on this. It's an exercise. Proof from the other hand, a proof by now. Right. So x comma d is a metric space. Right. X comma D is, you know, actually, suppose you know, X comma delta. Suppose you can take delta. Delta of X comma Y is equal to D of X comma Y by one plus D of X comma Y. Suppose your metric is this sum. Your metric is okay for loss of generality X minus. Question is, suppose you can take n. Suppose you can take n. Right. Is it actually cauchy? Is it actually cauchy? No. Right. Find out the distance n minus m by one minus n minus m. You know. Question is that. So when you are given a metric like this, e metric matter me remember, d comma delta e form le unte. Din lo manam check jial snowshun le do next chapter no. Din lo manam check jial snowshun le do din lo check chain. So n na ne di is not cauchy. So n is not cauchy in R with respect to D. Automatically, n is not cauchy. N is not cauchy in R with respect to delta. So what is the notice is 
what is notice is when you are given a metric space like this when your delta is nothing but d by 1 plus delta xn is kachi in in metric space x with respect to d if or no if xn is kachi kachi in delta right so it's an exercise do it very simple idea you need to do it so xn is kachi in d if or no if xn is kachi x with respect to delta right similar exercise same proof x comma d is a metric space my d is minimum of 1 comma d not only one you can take any positive remember so xn is kachi in x comma d if or no if xn is a kachi in ine jebdunu but thing endante time time consume aitadi okay it's xn is a kachi in this so for example mir a sequence ani ivandi ippudu for example mir etlaina seek etlante metric ani ivandi so deentle check cheye badalu deentle check cheyandi illa kachi galed ankonni illa kachi ga is it clear hello is it clear is it clear andi hello okay sir right suppose suppose you can take this yeah so properties right same thing you know every cauchy sequence is bounded for canvas manner bit room same strategy and you know xn is kachi of course yn also kachi both are kachi in a metric space that implies this converges to zero this is a is a sequence of you know it's a sequence of real numbers because it's a distance between non neighbors so sequence of non neighbor real numbers is converges to zero right whenever xn yn kachi sequence so therefore what is this this in fact it's a kachi in fact it's a kachi it's a kachi not kachi zero kachi in x right distance between x n comma x m is a sequence of non negative real numbers is a kachi kachi in not x sorry on the sequence of non negative numbers is a kachi in this by straight forward using that same inequality right next is what actually yeah next is just to wait one right next is j and a right kachi sequence kachi sequence as a limit point kachi sequence x n as a limit point straight forward even two j and right kachi sequence as a limit point x if and only in a metric space is a relation between kachi sequence and limit point relation between kachi sequence and limit point so x x then as a limit point kachi sequence as a limit point if and only the kachi sequence converges to x this is straight forward because xn has a limit point means what there exists a sequence which converges to x right so next is kachi sequence as a unique limit this is also important point. these are the two properties which are based on the kachi sequence and limit point as a unique limit as a unique so limit given the properties you need to prove you need to take any mathematical answer book by rudin or some book you can get this right next in product matrix space in product matrix space x plus y is a product matrix space x n comma y n is a kachi sequence is my sequence in a product matrix space if and only each component is kachi sequence each component sequence is kachi in corresponding matrix space is it clear hello 
Is it clear? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. What is the relation between equivalent matrix? Anybody? Relation between equivalent equivalent matrix and Cauchy. See, this result may not be true actually because Cauchy sequence is not a topological property because Cauchy depends upon the distance values. It's not a topological property. Example, can you give at least one example? Anybody? You know, suppose so you need to take uh, at any metric you can take, for example, natural numbers. X not equals to Y, zero. Right? Right? Suppose you can take another metric, X comma Y is equals to one by X minus one by Y. Right? You know, these two metrics are equivalent, yes or no? Because this is my discrete metric. This is my delta also in this same discrete metric. We have seen in first classes, equivalent matrix. So D and delta are equivalent matrix, yes or no? Is it clear? Equivalent matrix, equivalent matrix on X. But the thing is, you take this N, you take this N. N is a Cauchy sequence in delta, we have seen, we have seen. Uh, this is a Cauchy sequence in delta, but N is not Cauchy sequence in D, because it's not eventually constant sequence. It's not eventually constant sequence. One, two, three, four going. It's not eventually constant sequence. You are working with respect to discrete metric. Therefore, it's not Cauchy. Whereas N is a Cauchy sequence in delta. Therefore, these are equivalent metric. Cauchy here, but Cauchy is it's not Cauchy in another metric. Is it clear? So therefore, equivalent Cauchy may not have a relation. Understand, may not have a relation. Somewhere it is Cauchy in some metric, but it is not Cauchy in another metric, which is equivalent to another. Yes or no? Is it clear? This is an example. Is it clear? Is it clear? But it could each other answer, it could each other. If we equivalent it together, it end equivalent together. If we give it to you, we will give you the same thing. If we give it to you, we will give you the same thing. We have shown. But the thing is, Xn is Kachi in this, but Xn is Kachi in this. So these are equivalent, but Kachi is also true. That's what I'm telling you that may not be true. So equivalent and Kachi may not have a relation. Is it clear? Is it clear? Hello? Hello. Are you there? Hello. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Next complete. So this is important, right? So complete means what do I mean by complete? This is my metric space. Suppose X in, yeah, X is complete. If or not, if every cause sequence is convergent. Next is convergent. In X, every cause sequence that you take automatically convergent, right? So standard examples. This is my complete by completeness property. You can go through the root in. I think four pages proof are, proof is there. First page, first I think third page. Four to five pages proof is there. So it is complete matrix. Right. C with respect to Z1, Z2, this also complete matrix space. Right. And, you know, suppose this X equals to zero one. D of X comma is mod of X minus one. Is it complete? No, because one by N, you know, one by N is a Cauchy sequence. Yes or no? One by N is a Cauchy sequence. Right? Therefore, one by n is not convergent. Already we have seen. Why? Because one by n converges to zero, zero does not belong to zero one. Therefore, it is not convergent. Right? Fourth one. Suppose you take rationals. Is it complete with respect to induced metric mod of x minus y? No, because one plus one by n whole power n. You know, it converges to e. It converges to, if, of course, it is converges to e in, in full r. So every in convergent sequence is Cauchy. 
So the, therefore, this sequence is Kanchi. Is Kanchi because you have seen that? Did I mention every convenient sequence is Kanchi? No, 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 no. I did not mention every convenient sequence. It's Kanchi. Converse minute bit two. Same versa. Same argument. Converse minute bit two. Right? Every cos sequence is convenient. So here it is Kachi in full space means what? It is convergent in R means what? It is it is Kachi in R. Kachi in R means what? Kachi in Q because Kachi in full space is all Kachi in Q. Kachi in Q okay, but this convergence to E it does not belongs to Q. Therefore, it it is not convergent. This is not convergent to any point. Is it clear? Because one plus one by n whole power n converges to E in R. Every convergent sequence is Kachi sequence in R. Therefore, it is Kachi in R means what? It is Kachi in Q. Kachi in Q means what? Kachi in Q and it converges to E. E does not belongs to Q by by the property, yesterday property. Therefore, it never converges. Therefore, it is not complete. Right? Right? Suppose you can take this example. Take x equals to R two. Yeah. Okay. Let me. In two notes. Let me. Right? Suppose you can take x is equals to. X is equal to d with respect to discrete matrix. This is very very important. Is it making discrete matrix? Is it complete? The answer is because you take any Cauchy sequence, any Cauchy sequence you take in X that is eventually constant. We have seen once eventually constant. Already I told you every eventually constant constant sequence are always convergent in a matrix space. So it is convergent. So you started with Cauchy, therefore you end up with convergent. Therefore, it is complete. For x not equals to y, not only for you take any positive zero, x equals to y. Either make a jail or cinema. Is it complete or not? Yes, because every Cauchy sequence is eventually constant. Same proof. So therefore, it is complete. Right? Six. You take x. You take any x. Right? My my. X equals to R. Suppose delta of x comma y is equals to minimum of one comma d of x comma y means mod of x means. Is it complete? The answer is. In the moment, you can see that delta lo aite usual metric lo aite. Therefore, it is complete. To take x is equals to R with respect to delta of x comma y is equals to mod of x minus y by one plus mod of x minus y. Is it complete? The answer is. Using the exercise, which exercise? This exercise, this exercise, this exercise, which exercise? This exercise, these two exercises. You go exercise fill just there, Miko. Four exercises I put. Fill just and the Raga put that again in bumpy start and the okay. So therefore, so usual in general, in general, this is very very important. In general, you take x comma d is a matrix space. So it's complete. If one only x comma delta is complete, delta is equal to d by one plus d. Not only d plus one by delta, you take any positive also. We have seen whenever k is positive, it is metric. And also x comma d is complete. If one only x comma delta is complete. X. What is my that minimum of k comma d where k is positive. So same exercise. If you finish, if you complete the last two exercise, then you can able to do this. Right? Is it clear? Is it clear? And hello. Hello. Small doubt, sir. Ah, uh, tell tell me. In real number system, lo Cauchy convergent sequence, Cauchy sequence doubt only. Cauchy sequence uh, doubt only. Ah, uh, there is no difference. Both are same. Uh, matrix space lo uh, every Cauchy sequence convergent out only convergent need not be Cauchy under different uh, convergent way. sequence is Cauchy and to none convergent is Cauchy and Rasan Pada convergent is Cauchy and Rasan Cauchy may not be convergent and done real number system is it the Ekadena is statement Ekadena idi because every R is a matrix space Kada this is a matrix space Kada. Q with respect to this is a matrix space, right? Then one plus one by n is a Cauchy, right? 
ఇది మెట్రిక్ స్పేస్ కదా సార్ ఇది మెట్రిక్ స్పేస్ కదా ఎస్ఆన్ ఇది మెట్రిక్ స్పేస్ ఎక్కడైనా ట్రూ అయితే ఎవ్రీ కన్వర్జెంట్ సీక్వెన్స్ ఇస్ కాచీ కాచీ మే నాట్ బి కన్వర్జెంట్ దిస్ ఏ మెట్రిక్ స్పేస్ ఇందులో వన్ ప్లస్ వన్ బై హోల్ పవర్ అని కాచీ బట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ నాట్ కన్వర్జెంట్ ఇన్ క్యూ ఇట్ ఇస్ కన్వర్జెంట్ ఇన్ ఆర్ ఓకే బట్ నాట్ ఇన్ ఇన్ క్యూ కన్వర్జెంట్ కావాలి ఎవ్రీ కాచీ నాట్ ఓన్లీ ఫర్ సింగిల్ కాచీ ఎవ్రీ కాచీ సీక్వెన్స్ దట్ ఇస్ ఇన్స్ షుడ్ బి కన్వర్జెంట్ ఇన్ ఎక్స్ so real numbers always complete Re- complete uh, you know complex numbers is always complete with respect to usual in fact with respect to usual metric is it is it clear okay okay right next is next is suppose you can take this some um, you can take this x is equal to r del of x comma y is equals to x by 1 plus mod x y by 1 plus mod y is it complete is it complete matrix space you know in we have seen that n is a cauchy sequence we have completed actually it is cauchy in r with respect to delta question is is it convergent is it convergent suppose it is convergent to x x is a real number so there are three possibilities either x zero x positive x negative so suppose x n n converges to x means what by theorem you need to show that this distance converges to zero but what is the distance n by 1 plus n minus what is my x x is zero zero plus mod zero that is nothing but n by 1 plus mod n you know this tends to one as n tends to infinity so look at the first property in this class when you want to say that x n converges to x if you want to look you need to show that distance between x and comma x converges to zero so by this property it is not zero therefore this n sequence does not converge to zero my x is zero right so first property this in this case this is fail right yes or no suppose you can take distance between if suppose you take x is positive what is the distance between x and comma x n by 1 plus mod n by x by 1 plus mod x you know we assume that x is positive this is 1 plus 1 by n minus x by 1 plus x because x is positive there is no difference between mod x and x you know as n tends you know modulus is continuous function this tends to 1 by 1 plus n means what this is nothing but 1 minus x by 1 plus x you know this n by 1 plus n tends to 1 this is a constant 1 plus 1 by x 1 plus 1 1 plus x x by 1 plus x you know this is nothing but what is this 1 by 1 plus x you know it is non-zero so conduction because distance does not tends to zero therefore this should this x n should not converge to positive real numbers similarly if it is negative what happens suppose x is negative you can take x equals to minus y where y is positive suppose distance between x x what is this this is nothing but n by 1 plus mod n minus x by 1 plus mod x but n is 1 plus n what is x x is nothing but plus y divided by 1 plus mod y right you know mod y is nothing but y itself because y is positive right so this tends to you know mod is continuous function this tends to 1 plus 1 by mod y you know y is positive 1 plus y is positive 1 is positive therefore it is non zero as n tends to therefore this also it is not possible therefore it one by n is a cauchy sequence but it is not convergent hence it is not complete is it clear is it clear okay okay suppose you can take this x is equal to you know natural numbers delta of x comma y is equal to 1 by x minus 1 by x is it complete you know n is a cauchy sequence we have seen we have seen it is cauchy 
what is my my what is my set natural numbers right it is cos chi n with respect to delta question is is it convergent suppose it is convergent converges to x x is where actually x is a natural number and so no suppose it is convergent what happens we need to show the distance between n to x converges to zero if it fails this also fails so look at the distance between x x comma n what is this 1 by n minus x 1 by x therefore mod is continuous function this tends to mod 0 minus mod 1 by x you know this is same as saying that 1 by x this is non zero because x is a natural number therefore distance between n to x not converges to zero therefore n is not converges to x therefore our solution is wrong therefore n is a cauchy sequence so in this but it is not convergent so not complete ఒరో పాటు పడొద్దు ఇది డిస్క్రీట్ మెట్రిక్ కదా ఇది ఇది కంప్లీట్ అయితే ఇది కంప్లీట్ అవుతుంది డిస్క్రీట్ మెట్రిక్ కంప్లీట్ కదా అండర్స్టాండ్ ఇది డిస్క్రీట్ మెట్రిక్ అయితుంది డెల్టా ఇండ్యూస్ ఏమైంది డిస్క్రీట్ అయ్యింది ఎస్ఎను డిస్క్రీట్ సార్ ఏం చెప్పాడు డిస్క్రీట్ కదా ఆటోమేటిక్ ఎవ్రీ కాస్ట్ సిక్వెన్స్ కన్వర్జెంట్ అవుతుంది కదా సో ఆటోమేటిక్ గా కంప్లీట్ అవుతుంది కదా అని రాశారనుకో ఫినిష్ ఏమని చెప్పాను ఈక్వల్ అండ్ మెట్రిక్స్ లో ఈక్వల్ అండ్ మెట్రిక్స్ లో కంప్లీట్నెస్ పనిచేయదు గుర్తుపెట్టుకోండి ఈక్వల్ ఈక్వల్ అండ్ మెట్రిక్స్ లో కంప్లీట్నెస్ ఏ మాత్రం పనిచేయదు క్లియర్ డిస్క్రిట్ అవుతుంది కదా డిస్క్రిట్ ఆల్రెడీ ఆల్వేస్ కంప్లీట్ కదా సో కంప్లీట్ ఇది ఇది కూడా కంప్లీట్ అవుతుంది రాసారా ఫినిష్ ఇది క్లియర్ హలో ఇది క్లియర్ ద ప్రూఫ్ ఎనీ డౌట్ హలో సార్ right next is you know suppose there is another result for subspace this is a relation between subspace and complete metric space result you know why is the subspace of x in fact x is a complete metric space when do you say that subspace is complete so why is complete if one only why is closed in x y is closed in full space x suppose r with respect to usual metric you know q if you take q q as a subspace of r is it complete no because it is not closed you know it is not closed in r so by this theorem q is not complete is it clear right if it is not complete in full space it is not it is not closed in full space therefore it should not be complete suppose we take r with respect to usual mod of x minus y suppose you can take open 0 1 is it complete with respect to d no because it is not closed say when you want to say that something is complete something subspace is complete you need to check that whether it is closed or not whenever the full space is complete remember so it is not closed in r therefore not complete is it clear right suppose you can take uh, in nonlinear spaces when you go through the function analysis p01 p01 idi meek telusu kavatte nenu cheptunna general ga cheppo paytonu so this you know, with respect to sub norm you know by weierstrass approximation theorem every continuous function can be approximated by the sequence of polynomials therefore it is dense in it is dense in c01 therefore it is not closed because closure of the set is not itself therefore it is not closed because you know c01 with respect to sup norm is complete once it is complete but it is not it is not closed in this because peak closure of the set is not itself therefore it is not closed therefore it is not not complete so complete gaul and ding only therefore complete metric space lo adi closed ga undi kada adi important ga undi suppose you can take this x is equal to not to with respect to d2 matrix okka sa jadavandi meeku easy ga artham ayyadu suppose you take my set y is to be set of all order pairs which is inside this x square plus y square less than 1 very very important question is is it complete the answer sir the answer no because it's not closed yes or no why is not closed yes or no 
uh, this is the limit point, but should not be sitting inside. Therefore, not closed. Not closed in R2. So, therefore, not complete. Why? Because R2 complete. R2 complete. R2 complete. R2 complete. Right? So, this is my subspace arguments. Next. Next is. Yeah. Uniform is equal and, you know, something. There is no relation between equal and matrix, but there is a relation, very strong relation. Suppose X is a matrix space with respect to D1 and D2. These two are matrix spaces. If there exists positive constant, A comma B, such that satisfying this, this inequality. Right? For all X comma B belongs to X. Right? So then X comma D1, this is straightforward, is complete. This X comma D2 is complete. Example, example, suppose R2, you know, R2 always complete amma, because you can go through any function as a book, it is always complete. You know, R4N also complete. Thing is, R infinity complete is R2 with respect to infinity complete? Yes. By using this inequality, you know, D2 less than or equals to, we have seen, we have seen that this is root 2 into D infinity. This is D infinity. So by using this inequality, by using this gravity, whenever there exist two positive constants such that D1 less, A into D1 less than or equals to D2 less than or equals to D1. Therefore, here D2 is complete. So therefore, R2 with respect to D infinity is complete. Is it clear? Is it clear? Hello? Similarly, we have seen that D1 less than or equals to n into D infinity. This is D infinity. We have seen that R2 with respect to D infinity complete. Therefore, by using this same condition, R2 with respect to D1 is complete. Is it clear? Hello? Is it clear? This inequality is important. So using this inequality, we can solve it. Is it clear, Amma? Is it clear or not? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Using the same inequality, right? They are listening Next very thing. seriously, sir. They are listening very seriously. So that was, was reply is the letter. Chat pass the reply and sir. Yes, sir. No. Yes. In the containing fast way up to none. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No. No, sir. No. Okay. Isometric arguments. Isometric argument is really important argument. Suppose, suppose you have an isometry. What is mean by isometry? You know, suppose X and Y are metric faces. Right? Suppose you have an isometry like this. So we say that a function from X to Y is isometry. Oh, no, distance preserves. Suppose x is with respect to d1, suppose x is with respect to d2. That means d2 f of x comma f of y is equal to d1 with x comma y, distance between x comma y for every x belongs to x. That means distances preserves, f preserves, f preserves distances. So what is the important of this? Means example one. Suppose you have a Metric like this. What is the metric? One comma in zero comma infinity, zero comma one. With respect, this is my x. Your metric is this delta of x comma y is equal to one by x minus one by. X. Question is, is it complete? Is it complete? The answer yes, because using isometry, I can define a function like this: zero to one with respect to delta. One to, you know. 1 goes to 1, 0 goes to infinity. So defined by f of x is equal to 1 by x. Right? You know, clearly it is a bijection, no problem. 1, 0 to 1. Look at the distances. If you take x comma y belongs to domain, look at the distances of images. What is this? 
1 by mod f of x 1 by f of x f of y minus f of y but f of x is nothing but what 1 by x therefore this is nothing but mod of x minus y this is nothing but what actually we you know if you take this is usual metric what is usual metric mod of x minus y this is d of x comma so isometry is there is isometry is there we know actually we know in codomain look at the codomain 1 comma infinity d is it complete the answer is because it is closed why it is closed 1 comma infinity contains all its limit points in r so it is closed therefore it is it is complete once it is complete by isometry this is complete by isometry by isometry this is complete is complete what is complete this is complete with respect to delta is complete is complete is it clear is it clear isometry und ankonde okati complete aithe inkoti complete aithe because distance preserves kada idi the strong condition is strong condition distance preserves got automatic game aithe complete aithe complete aithe can you get less another example yes suppose you can take c is it complete with respect to usual metric answer yes because i can give him i can define a mapping you know you know what is this mapping you know distance between f of z is equal to you know what is this yeah you can take this function e to c not c plus c yeah c to r to take f of z what is f of z yeah yeah mapping set got like that so therefore look at the distances you can take another version also norm notation also you know what is the distance you know can you give me map from this this you know f of z is equals to Take z here. What is the map? You know. Yeah. F of z one comma z f of z two. If you take like this, that means f of z one minus f of z two. That means what is z one? Z one itself. But this is same as saying that. Under root of x one minus x y one whole square, x two minus y two whole square. But what is this? You know, this is nothing but distance between z one comma z two. That means distance between f f distance between f z comma f z two. Distance between f z comma f z two. We can take identity function. That's it. So f z two f z two comma f f f z one comma f z two is nothing but distance between f of z one minus f of z two. But that is same as see what is this? This is delta, right? No, no. Yeah, something mapping. Something we can adjust a mapping. We can adjust a mapping by using that. We can say that this both are symmetric isometric mappings. So this is complements. This is complete. So using the isometry relation, using isometry relation, right? You can give this any notation, right? Okay. So can you give like this? You know, x square plus y square works. Works. You know, it works. Huh? Okay. 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 Click on this. Okay. Next page. So very famous condition. In metric space, you need to check on this. You know, give a sufficient map, provide a sufficient map, give a sufficient map to ensure that something map is isometric. So X is a metric space. Suppose you have uh, the following conditions are equal, and this for this condition are equal, and you know the metric space is complete, and 
you have a sequence any sequence every sequence in x with the called condition this series is convergent series is always convergent third one every sequence in x as a convergent set as a convergent set right so therefore in order to say that something something space is complete you need to show that every sequence in x has a convergent of sequence or else you take any x in x this series is convergent that is convergent so this condition is very very important x is complete if only any sequence that you take in x if, if this condition this series is convergent therefore the sequence is convergent so what is important you know something look at this suppose x equals to r suppose my sequence an plus 1 an an is a sequence in r satisfy this condition 1 by 2 a question is is an convergent or not is an convergent or not like this questions asked in jl is it convergent satisfy this condition this is true for every n any sequence satisfy this inequality doesn't mean that is it convergent the answer yes because you know look at the series first of all using the second condition this is very powerful condition every sequence that in x whose series is convergent that this you need to show that automatically convergent you know r is complete we have seen r is complete so first condition is satisfied once first condition is satisfied automatically second condition satisfied right so i want to show that it is this series is convergent you know by comparison test you know this series is always less than or equal to this series 1 by 2 power n so by geometric series this is convergent by comparison test this is convergent this is it is convergent because it's a geometric series it is convergent right side convergent means what left side convergent so this condition hold from here to here it condition this condition hold therefore the original sequence convergent by the property the sequence convergent is it clear is it clear suppose you can take another example something sequence an plus an plus 1 less than or equal to 1 by n square in r is the sequence is the sequence convergent to take this sequence is the sequence convergent is the sequence convergent for every n the answer is yes because r is complete n equals to 1 to infinity you know this series is convergent by p test this series is convergent so left side series is convergent by comparison test once this series is convergent automatically original series original sequence is convergent in r is it clear idi mere a question paper iskunna jldl lo untadandi choose check cheskondi okay for example itlu und ankonde less than or equals to 1 by n for every n in r does it mean that the sequence convergent anybody does it mean that is it convergent is it convergent no sir no so can you provide that suppose you can take an is equals to you know 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by n right so an plus 1 minus an what is this n plus 1 you are going to get this always less than or equals to 1 by n satisfying the condition is it clear an plus 1 is nothing but what 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to, up to n plus 1 an is nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 2 uh, 3 plus up to 1 by n so cancel this is less than or equal to 1 by n satisfy this condition but the thing is is the sequence convergent no is the sequence convergent no in fact it's not cauchy by p test you know the sequence not convergent is it clear because it is a nth partial sum of this series so this series is not convergent means this nth partial sum not convergent Is it clear? Is it clear the argument? Hello. Because satisfying this condition, that doesn't mean that it's it's catchy. In fact, catchy. Is it clear? N so N is a after all a partial sum of this series. After all a partial sum of this series. You know this series is divergent by p test. Therefore, this series is 
this sequence in the portal sum is not convergent in fact not cauchy is it clear okay so but but you know actually if the sequence convergent you know if this if, if this this cauchy if in fact it is cauchy converse is true it is cauchy in x automatically distance between a n comma a n plus 1 tends to 0 this is important converse is true if it is cauchy distance converse to 0 distance between the consecutive term tends to 0 as n tends to infinity yes or no by straight forward once it is cauchy distance between x n comma x m should be less than epsilon as n comma n tends to m bigger than equals to h you can replace n by n plus 1 less than epsilon or n bigger than equals to h so this is straightforward but the thing is converse may not be true yes or no converse may not be true why because i can take a n to be 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by n in r this is my sequence you know a n plus 1 minus a n what is the distance you're going to get 1 plus 1 by n this tends to 0 as n tends to infinity therefore satisfy this condition okay but the thing is it's not conscious the sequence not conscious you know so converse may not be true is it clear it's all as a lot of question and it's all as a lot of question the concept to me that's all as a so that that means that means this is important this 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 test is important this test so complete and now a model later now okay right so x is complete if only a sequence in with this this arc this series is convergent is convergent or else a sequence every sequence in x that has a convergent subsequence so the general ga id ekkada use aitunna ante theorems lo use aitu you know it is in theorems in order to say that something is complete you need to show that every sequence has a convergent subsequence then name antaram sequentially compact antaru next was sequentially compact the property name antaram sequentially compact every sequence has a convergent subsequence okay Next, next is I'm going to take uh, T zero one. So some standard examples. First one. R four n is always complete with respect to D one, D two, D three. Of course, D complete. These are the standard. We can go to any GFC man's book. Or else phrasing. Or else Lemaire. Or else you can take any function. Or else, common layer. My my chart common layer. Net model. Common layer. Right. These are the standard test standard problems. You know, LP is always complete. You know, go through the functions. You know, the DP. What is DP? Already told you. DP of x comma y is nothing but summation n equals to one to infinity mod of x i minus y i whole power p whole power one. Of course, LP. With respect to D infinity, also complete. What is my D infinity? D infinity nothing but one. So I set up all bounded sequence. What is L infinity? L infinity nothing but bounded sequence. I have already seen bounded sequence. This is also complete. Supreme number. Mod of x minus. Next is right. You know this is also convergent. You can take x is a real sequences. This is space of all space of all real sequences. You know my delta is nothing but x n comma y n. You can take in the conversion. Already I told you the idea in the basic argument, basic course, basic classes. This also convergent. This also so this this also this is the third example. This also complete with respect to this matter. complete space of all real sequences with respect to this matter fourth one you know every bounded sequences with respect to d infinity is complete space of all bounded sequences what is this bounded function not sequences bounded functions bounded function is complete where my d infinity is supremum of in fact maximum attains because it's a compact set and can take maximum uh, 
or else you need to take so right so fifth one c01 with respect to d infinity is also complete what is my d infinity maximum of f of t minus g of t low zero right something six d01 with respect to d1 this is not important this is important dp dp where one less than or equals to p less than infinity what is my dp d of f comma g zero to one mod of f of t minus g of t p whole power one by p is not complete right next is you know this seventh set of all convergent sequences which converts to zero converts to zero is also complete with respect to soup matrix you can take any test book standard because if you want to prove this it takes i think half an hour for each problem right because i'm i've been teaching functions is for the past 10 years okay so topology and functions is complex analysis i've been teaching for the past 10 years so therefore this very simple proofs you can go through the any standard test book convergent sequences also with respect to soup norm is complete with respect to d infinity c not not means what a set of all sequences eventually to eventually to zero there exists the same it is actually constant to zero eventually equals to zero this zero for every n bigger than equals to is not complete with respect to any dp one less than or equals to p less than of course it is true for infinity also right next is so these are the standard examples complete or incom uh, incomplete matrix spaces right general ga complete a kada ante actually itla chestaru but the thing is something sequence ichi actually ga kaachiya kada ani adugutu untadu general ga so for example you can take c01 with respect to d infinity idi complete a kada ante complete ani answer rastadu but itla direct adugavutadu adagadu theledu but the thing is that something sequence istadu edana oka sequence suppose you are given a sequence like this suppose you can take n square t by n square t right question is that is it kachi and is it kachi in c01 with respect to d infinity d infinity means f comma g maximum of f of t minus g of t right so thing is see something you know go through the function uh, basic kriyasis in rudin something it is kachi this is notice something it is kachi c01 with respect to d infinity means if and only by definition distance between fn comma fn with respect to infinity tends to zero as n tends to n comma n tends to infinity this is nothing but so with respect to sup sup matrix means maximum matrix l infinity matrix therefore this each this means fn is a uniformly kachi sequence uniformly kachi kachi on close zero one uniformly kachi if and only if uniformly convergent uniformly convergent is uniformly convergent plus zero so something in order to show that in d infinity space of all continuous function in d infinity it is kachi it's enough to show that it's whether it is kachi or not is it kachi is it is it, is it uniformly convergent n square t by 1 plus n square t is it convergent so go through the mn test you know xn of t is nothing but what you know n square t by 1 plus n square t right suppose you know that you know in t equals to 0 so what is that what is the limit if t equals to 0 what is the limit you know xn of t is equals to 0 for all t therefore 
this converges to zero so my limit is zero if t equals to zero my limit is zero if t positive t lies between zero to one including one also therefore xn of t is nothing but n square t by one plus n square t this tends to one as n tends to infinity therefore what is my limiting function nothing but zero t equals to zero is one zero less than t less than r equals to one right so it is it you know it is discontinuous it is discontinuous at zero you know it is a sequence of continuous function it converges to x of t point wise you know it is discontinuous function therefore it is not uniform convergent therefore it, it is not therefore it is not cauchy sequence in d infinity not cauchy right in d infinity is it clear is it clear and hello 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 yes sir yes sir yes okay suppose you are given you are given suppose any function any function you random you take for example limit a unique coach this one suppose limit unique coach this one this one for example zero zero any function you take that you take any function limit zero which is this one suppose any function give me limit zero because you got discontinuous got easy to express to them discontinuous got one function is anybody you know this is uh -huh, sir n by n by n square t is it right sir n by 1 plus n square t you know it, it tends to zero no sir no sir it's a continuous function no doubt so thing is it is cauchy or not you know it is not point wise convergent yes or no because it's unbounded at t equals to zero it is nothing but n it is unbounded therefore it is not point one conversion means or not not uniform conversion limit undali but okay need to check it you need to check it you can go through any book so what is my condition is that something you want to show it is cauchy in d infinity you need to be very careful about this fn must be uniformly convergent on close zero one right uh, suppose sir, you can take this no sir uniformly cauchy implies uh, uniformly convergent you wrote sir yeah, previously you know, uh, uniformly convergent this becomes uniformly yeah yeah uniformly cauchy i found only always uniformly convergent but uh, every cauchy sequence need not be a convergent every cauchy sequence need not be a convergent but you are in, you are in d infinity right you are in yeah. d infinity that is what actually strength of d infinity okay, okay. D infinity is nothing but what? Ah, okay. This is nothing but what? The maximum of this t belongs to close zero one. A thing is actually the strength. You know, you know, in Rodin, go through the Rodin. What is mean? This dm f m of f m converges to zero as n tends to n comma n tends to infinity. That means supremum of this f n of t minus f m of t modulus d modulus this tends to zero. That means what? Each of them tends to zero. That means what? As n comma n tends to zero. That means what? F n is cauchy, uniformly cauchy. Right. So when you are given an infinity, something it is convergent means or uniformly convergent. Something it is bounded means what? It is uniformly bounded. That is the strength of d infinity. Something it is convergent means what? It is uniformly convergent. Something it is uh, you know bounded means what? Pointwise bounded means what? Uniformly bounded. That's what actually strength of d infinity. Suppose you can take x n of t is equal to, you know, zero minus one less than or equal to x less than or equal to zero. This is n t zero less than or equal to x less than or equal to one by n. This is one one by n less than or equal to x less than or equal to one. This is snake curve. It's like in looking like snake. Go through the functions book. You know, this zero. This what is my first function? My first function is minus one to zero zero. Up to zero to one, it actually it is what t. This is my f one. What is my f two? What is my f two?
F2 is 2T. Minus 1 to 0, 0. And this is nothing but 2T. After 1 by 2, this is nothing but 1. This is 1 by 2. After 1 by 2, this is 1. Next, 1 by 3. This is my F3. You need to check that whether it is Cauchy or not. In D infinity. In D infinity or D1. It's an exercise. Right? Next is, you take this, x by nx square. Question is, you need to close and take the closed and bounded for sake of our convenience. Question is, is it Kachi? Is it Kachi in D1 or D infinity? Check it. Right. 2017 is the function chart, sir. Fnx uh. is equal to x into e power minus nx square. Chepan, sir. X, x of nft is equal to e power. Hello, sir. sir. E power. E to the power of minus nx square. In which, which is space, sir? Uh, on R. On R. Yeah. Tell me, sir. Yeah. Even at Uniformly convergent on our uniformly. I, I, convergent I, I, okay. Yeah. On R. Therefore, thing is actually what is the limit actually if you fix any positive real number, you take any real number, x square is always positive, non negative. Therefore, you take actually x is equal to zero. If you take x is equal to zero, what is my limit? My li limit is actually what? E power zero, that is nothing but one. One always tends to one as n tends to infinity. If you take x is any other than zero that means x square is always positive that means e power minus nx square is nothing but one by e power nx square is always it tends to zero as n tends to infinity that means what you know actually the thing is this is my limiting function is my limiting function is this is one if x is equals to zero this is otherwise it is zero question is it is discontinuous but it is continuous therefore not uniform function. it is continuous function sequence of continuous functions but the thing is limit is discontinuous at zero therefore it is not uniform convergent does not converge to f uniformly is it clear sir okay do you have any doubts any more doubts any doubts sir over the ardhangal is Metric space lo, ये no sequence दिस को ना पूरा दिन रो काशी convergent आये थे complete आंटो। याँ। ये real number system लो convergent sequence इसे काशी sequence, काशी sequence इसे convergent आउट। Different है ना? अंधे क्या कहते हैं? R complete आंटो ना? अरे sir, R अगर complete आंटे convergent काशी आउट होने काशी convergent आउट। हाँ ना? But in in metric space लो काशी अब convergent का होल, but converse need not be true आंटो। Definition like complete cavalry and every Kasi sequence convergent cavalry. In case can the Kasi and then put convergent by default real lines. Are they different? Put me doubt and sir, it put me doubt and convergent is always convergent Kasi Gaul and Kadan to Nara. Metric space under real line low, R made out on a put it in a discussion. Any metric space, sir, if you take any any sequence, any Kasi sequence, any metric space low, any convergent sequence, you take any XN is a convergent sequence. Converse is the same as the converse. Converse is the same as the converse. For example, x is equal to m. For example, natural numbers is equal to with respect to x, n. You know, 1 by x minus 1 by n. n is the same as the converse. Converse is not convergent. In x with respect to delta. 
ఈ మెట్రిక్ చూడండి సార్ మెట్రిక్ చూడాలి స్పేస్ చూడాలి ఈ మెట్రిక్ తో ఈ స్పేస్ అనేది కంప్లీట్ కాదు అంటున్నా ఇది మెట్రిక్ స్పేస్ కదా ఫస్ట్ పాయింట్ ఇది మెట్రిక్ స్పేస్ అయితే కదా చెప్పండి ఫస్ట్ మెట్రిక్ స్పేస్ అయితే ఓకే ఏం కాచి అయిద్దా ఏం కాచి అయిద్దా కాచి అవుతుంది ఇది కన్వర్జ్ అంటే ఇందులో ఇందులో వేరే దాని గురించి ఆలోచించకండి దీంట్లో నాట్ కన్వర్జెంట్ నాట్ కన్వర్జెంట్ సీన్ రైట్ డిస్టెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ ఇన్కామ్ ఎక్స్ ఏమైంది వన్ బై మైనస్ వన్ బై ఎక్స్ యూనో టెన్స్ టు జీరో మైనస్ ఎక్స్ యూనో మైనస్ వన్ బై ఎక్స్ ఇస్ నాన్ జీరో దర్ ఫోర్ ఎన్ ఇస్ నాట్ కన్వర్జెంట్ ఇన్ ఎక్స్ విత్ రెస్పెక్ట్ టు డెల్టా సిట్స్ ఎ కాచి ఓకే బట్ నాట్ కన్వర్జెంట్ కాన్వర్స్ మెనట్ బెటర్ ఇన్ మెట్రిక్ స్పేస్ if it is happened if it, if it is happened what is the generalization it is a generalization of usual matrix space na it is a generalization yes or no it is a generalization of usual matrix space on r okay okay sir the sequence is always kachi yes sir okay sir ante r lo convert ante kachi convergent to convergent kachi avutundi kabatti matrix space lo matram only kachi is convergent aithe complete antam anta ah every kachi sequence adhe definition every convergent kachi aithe sir ga meer marchukondi convergent is always kachi కాచి ఒకవేళ ఎవ్రి కాచి కన్వర్జెంట్ అయింది అనుకోండి కంప్లీట్ అయిపోతుంది ఇట్ ఇస్ ద డెఫినిషన్ ఓకే సర్ ద డెఫినిషన్ మెట్రిక్ స్పేస్ లో కూడా ఇంకా యా ఇన్ ఎనిమెట్ ఎనీ మెట్రిక్ స్పేస్ ఓకే ఓకే ఇంకా ఎనీ వర్డ్ మౌనిక సర్ యా ద డౌట్స్ ఉన్నాయి అది స్వాతి మేడం డౌట్స్ సర్ these are the most important tricks in in complete and kachi and bounded and limit point isometry equivalent metric and okay. uh, and subspace relation complex and and the uh, uniform convergence venkanna venkanna in next ramesh జనరల్ గా కాచి అంటే అండి జనరల్ గా ఇది కాచి యూనిఫామ్ లీ కాచి అని ఎందుకంటుందంటే అది రియల్ లైన్ మీద మాట్లాడుతుంది on e if and only for each epsilon there exists a stage such that distance between f n of x minus f of x because these are the real world functions f n is a function from a to r so this is less than epsilon for every n comma m bigger than equals to h you know whenever this h whenever this h does not depend upon the point we say that it is uniformly cauchy it is uniformly cauchy whenever this h does not depend upon the point the whatever point you are taking this is not uniformly cauchy whenever h is independent of the point and epsilon then one can say that it is uniformly cauchy is it clear okay okay sir yes. right sir e. clear and chandra ayyana da ఇది థర్టీన్త్ లెక్చర్ థర్టీన్త్ లెక్చర్ ఇంకో ఫైవ్ క్లాస్
Okay, sir. Huh? Yeah. 